It started off as a small cut and it's just got exponentially bigger and looks really, really sore. And we've tried all sorts of medications and treatment to try and heal it and it's just not healing. So we need to take action now to prevent it getting any worse or to prevent him being in any pain because ultimately Jumba's going to struggle if we don't do anything. Left with little option, Caleb has decided that a section of Jumba's tail needs to be cut off. This has never been done at the park before. We've tried everything so far, so this is kind of the last resort, really. Lions' tails aren't just an accessory for their handsome coats. They play an extremely important role in their survival in the wild. As well as being essential for balance, their tail can be spotted above grassy scrublands to signal commands or alerts to the rest of the pride. It's not an uncommon injury in the wild. He will have to readjust his balance and, you know, readjust how he communicates with the other lions, but one of the, the girls in his group has also got a bend to her tail, so she's called kink because of the kink in her tail. So I think between them, they've already learned how to communicate with animals with tails that are, are not quite normal. The usually calm keepers are on edge as they prepare for an operation that will be a first for the park. This is quite stressful actually because you want it to go well, you want Jumba to be healthy as soon as possible. Can I help you? The vet is on his way, but no one knows how this tale is going to unfold. And that's a worrying thought for head of carnivores, Amy. Obviously, there is a big risk in cutting off an animal's tail, and that we've, in my time, I've never had to do that before. Um, so it's a bit of an unknown for us. We have lost lions under anaesthetic before, and other animals, and it is, it is such a risky business. We obviously take all the precautions, we, we follow the vet's advice, and, and we are very experienced in doing it, but there is always an element of risk to it. The big cat has been sedated, but before vet Rich can get into the cage to attempt his first ever lion surgery, they need to be sure that Mother Nature's killing machine is sound asleep. He's pretty awake still. Yeah, a little bit blinky, but... So we'll give him another few minutes. After 20 minutes... Still a bit of a blink there. Jumba is still fighting the sedation, and Rich decides to attempt to top up but it means putting his arm right into the lion's den. You get to the gut. Cool. There's a tiny part of your brain which always thinks that it's going to spring up and take your arm off. But, yeah, in this case, he's 90% asleep. Finally out for the count, Jumba is repositioned for surgery. OK, perfect. And Rich gets his first close-up look at the wound. It's nasty, isn't it? It's eroded through the muscle and we've got exposed right bone in that, that site. <laughs> so um, it's definitely the right call to take it off. Now the team must work fast. It's just muscle. It's just all muscle. <laughs> A local anaesthetic is applied to the tail. He's moving his tail quite a bit there. As Jumba is only sedated, there's a chance he may still feel pain. Heart rate's stable. And as Rich makes his first incision... You ready? Yeah, ready. ..everyone braces for a reaction. But Jumba hasn't noticed a thing. Looking all right? all right? All right at the front? Not had any reactions. A sedated sleeping lion is also a unique opportunity for the keepers to get up close to the parts they'd usually steer well clear of. So we've checked his teeth, and we're checking his claws and his paws and giving him a good health check. And also for keepers that don't normally get the opportunity to get this close to a lion, it's nice for them to see him as well. Being this close to Jumba is a little bit overwhelming, I'm not going to lie, but it is really cool to see everything that we normally see from a distance up close. This bit might react to. Having sliced through the skin and tissues, 
Rich needs to make a final cut through Jumba's tailbone joint. It looks a little bit brutal, but then surgery always looks a little bit brutal. Not a huge amount of um, finesse involved sometimes. Last little cut. And that is the tail off. After 55 years, the vet team have helped a lion at the park like never before. He's still got a decent amount. He's just not going to have this nice black end. And it's a milestone moment for Rich. And for the animals in his care. Really, really chuffed that um, broken the ice with operating on these big cats. It's a really great experience dealing with something like that, of that magnitude. And it's just exciting, it's just a bit of an adrenaline rush. Come on, Are you missing him? As Jumba begins to stir, the rest of the pride are let back into the house. So they were all waiting outside while he was being operated on, and, and we just want to let them know that he's okay, and hopefully it might help stimulate him to wake up as well. 